Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We've been reading through the book of Philippians, Paul's joy-filled letter to the people of the church in Philippi, written as he sat in a Roman jail cell. We are at the end of the book. So let's read the last few verses, Philippians 4, 21 to 23, where Paul writes, Greet all God's people in Christ Jesus. The brothers and sisters who are with me send greetings. All God's people here send you greetings, especially those who belong to Caesar's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. And that sounds pretty much like a normal goodbye greeting. But a couple of things to notice. Paul says, all God's people here with me send greetings. Paul was allowed visitors in jail. So the Christians in Rome came to visit him regularly. Now, when Paul wrote the letter to the Romans, he had never been to Rome. He always wanted to go to Rome. He always wanted to meet these people. And now he was in Rome, but he was a prisoner in chains. But the church in Rome came to see him, and he was able to teach and visit with them, even as he sat in jail. But the really surprising part of this greeting is when he says, All God's people here send you greetings, especially those who belong to Caesar's household. Now, what does that mean? Not, not Caesar's family, not the emperor's family, but the phrase Caesar's household would be analogous to when we say all of the White House staff. Now, that doesn't mean the president's family. It means all the people who work at the White House. So when he says Caesar's household, he's referring to the accountants, cooks, butlers, maids, all kinds of other people who worked in the Roman government, who worked for the emperor. And apparently many of them had become followers of Jesus. Many of them had become Christians. You see, Paul's imprisonment in Rome had led him to meet people that he never would have met otherwise. He was chained to a Roman soldier at all times which meant that dozens of Roman soldiers had heard his testimony. Dozens of Roman soldiers had heard him preach and teach. They were a captive audience. And that led to other people, other people in what we would call the civil service, hearing about Jesus, directly from Paul or indirectly through others that were in that jail cell with him, like the soldiers. And that's why Paul said way back in chapter 1 of this book that his captivity had served to advance the gospel. Paul saw his imprisonment as an opportunity to reach people that he never would have reached any other way. Perhaps now in this terrible pandemic, we too can find opportunities to share or serve or witness that we otherwise wouldn't have had. Even in difficult times, even in rough times, even in the midst of a pandemic, there is always something to thank God for because God is good all the time.